Hey guys, my name is Sean Slex and welcome back to some more Super Mario Sunshine. Today, we are going into the next world, so let's jump into it. Welcome to Gelato Beach. Episode 1, Do Bud Sandcastle's Secret. So we're starting off with yet another secret mission, of course. This one isn't that bad. Okay. So Gelato Beach is pretty cool. It's a nice little beach. So you can see there's like a little bud there. So what you have to do is you have to spray it with water. So let's make our way over there. Now these enemies right here, I believe they're called Catacracks. Cataquacks. And they're very annoying. And they will just slap you and fling you up. So go ahead and spray that and this castle will come up. What you have to do now is just simply walk through the castle. So there you go. Ow! You jerk! Why did you do this? Right, let's go inside. I don't know how this leads to a secret mission, but it does. Don't axe it. Don't axe it. It's, it's, it's logic. It's Nintendo logic. Alright, so here we have our secret mission. Now, these sand blocks here will, dis will disappear as you stand on them. So you have to hurry up and be quick. And yeah, don't take long. So this one's pretty straightforward. I can't really say that it's that difficult when all you have to do is just hold the up button and jump with A. Like, there's no, you know, there's nothing fancy you have to do. You don't have to do any crazy jumps or spin jumps or anything. You just have to just get up to the shine sprite. It's actually very easy, believe it or not. It's really not that bad. So, let's go ahead and get our shine sprite. Uh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Don't jinx yourself. Grab it. Okay. There you go. Why was it so hard to get that? I thought I was going to die. Okay. Let's go ahead and select the secret mission once again. And do the eight red coin mission. Okay. So here we are back in the secret mission. Doing that red eight red coin mission. Shouldn't be that bad because we have flood. So let's go ahead and make our way across. Alright, collect the 8 red coins before the time runs out. Alright, so the 8 red coins are pretty easy. They're just in your way, or they're right in front of you as you're running. So you really can't miss any of them. The last few red coins are located around the sides of this spot right here. You'll see what I mean in a minute. There's one in the middle, and I think four around the other side. So go ahead and just run around and collect all of them. Nothing too bad. Now the thing with the sand blocks is that when you do step on them, they do respawn after you step on them after a given amount of time, so they don't disappear forever. So there's something I can tell you. All right, get this one. And where's the other one at? The other one's over there, but there's a one up over there and I'm feeling greedy, so let's get it. All right, and the last red coin is right here. And there you go. Nothing too difficult. All right, let's see. Spin jump onto the shine sprite. No, never not. Oh, ow. Okay, there's our next shine sprite. Shine. Next up, we have episode two, Mirror Madness Tilt Slam Bam. So in this mission, we have to kill some quad cracks. They're actually really big quad cracks. As you can see, there's a big, what are they called again? Wigglers, I believe they're called. Just chilling on that light. And this guy will tell us about it, and he'll be like, alert, alert, just look at the top of the tower. So that thing that he's sitting on is an egg? No, it's not the egg. It's like this... It's like a solar thing that needs sunlight. Because there's an egg located inside that house lamp thing. You know what I mean. So anyway, some weird thing has curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. So there's a sandbird egg, and inside it is a sandbird, which sounds really interesting. So what we have to do is we have to go kill the Quattaquacks, so to do that, we simply have to get on top of the mirrors that they're located at, so the mir so there's, there's one over here, I'm going to switch my nozzle. Alright, so what you have to do is go ahead and just spray them with water, push them to the other side, and ground pound the opposite side he's on, and that's how you would kill it. So go ahead and do this with all of them in order to get that caterpillar, get the wiggler, because the wiggler is sleeping on that. Well, actually, it's the Wiggler and the Cataquacks that are causing that, 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 uh, that sand bird egg issues. Because the sand bird needs sunlight to live. That's logic for you. 
Alright, let's go ahead and do that once again. And... There. Alright. Nope, you didn't die. You're supposed to die. Die! There we go. Okay. Alright, let's see. Ex excellent, only one more to go. Yep, okay. So the last one has three. As you can see, it went from one to two, and now there's three. These ones, there's just more enemy. Oh my god, six. Uh, dang it. Alright, here we are. Okay. There's three of them. So what I like to do is just, like I said, just push them all to the other side. Just like that. And... No! You were supposed to die! You were supposed to... T there you go. Wait, what? I thought you died too. Get out of here. Ow. Why do you do this to me? Why is he standing like that? Shouldn't he have... What? I'm so confused. Get to the other side and die. Die! There we go. And he's gone. And by doing that, the wiggler falls to pieces. He disintegrates at the... S disintegrates because of light. I don't understand. Anyways, the shine sprite's gonna spawn all the way over there. So to get there really quickly, go ahead and spray the water. And yeah, just... Yeah, that... Spray the water. Spray flood. Grab the shine sprite. Let's get out of here. I am so done. <laughs> Next up, we have episode 3, Wiggler Ahoy, full steam ahead. Hmm, I guess our Wiggler friend is back. Is he okay? Oh, what? And as you can see, he is very mad because of what we did to him. So we have to stop him. He's mad. Alright, so in order to do this, this is actually, yeah, this is a boss fight if that wasn't obvious enough. What you have to do is you have to wait for him to come towards you, and then you're going to want to spray this and wait at the right moment wow, that looks like a pile of poop <laughs> go ahead and try that again you want to do it right when he's nearby come on of course it's gonna go to the one over here so let's go ahead and try spraying this one come on come on and that will knock him over, and then what you want to do after he falls over is just ground pound the spot that it tells you to, which is right here. And do that three times and get off of him, because he will kill you. Sorry about that, guys. I had an interruption. Alright, so here we have Wiggler once again coming at us. So now he's going to be running in different directions. He tends to switch it up once in a while. So now we have to make sure that we get him. Alright, where is he going? Now he's going over there. Alright. Go over there. Now there is one over- yeah, there's one right there, okay. Let's see if we can get him. What's up, little guy? Wah, don't come this way! Yeah, he's kind of scared. I think I would be scared too if there was a giant caterpillar trying to kill me! Alright. Go ahead and ground pound his butt. And do that one more time. And he'll be done. Alright. Now this time he's going to be going a lot faster, as you can see his speed increases over time! Ow! Alright, this one right here will do. Alright. I want to kill him with poop, that would be awesome. To finish him off with the one that looks like poop. And... There we go, holy crap, we went high up. And the last spot would be at the very front of his body. And there we go, and he's dead. And he turns into sand because we all know caterpillars are made of sand. There you go. And the shine sprite will spawn as far away from you as possible. Of course. And there we go, we got the shine sprite. Shine! Okay, episode 4. The sandboard? Sandboard? The sandbird is born! 
Okay. Didn't know there was such a thing as a sandbird. Okay, as you can see, the sandbird is now gone, and he made a big hole. Alright. Let's see here. What does this guy have to say? Hey, guess what? The sandbird, it finally hatched. Don't bother looking for it, though. It flew off right away. I w it would be really cool if you could see it flying in the sky, but you can't, so there you go. Alright, well, let's go ahead and make our way over to the egg where the sandbird once was. And spin jump. Alright, so going over here, you can use your flood to spray this and make stairs come up, but you know what, I'm going to do it the fun way, which is which is wall jumping, if I could do it correctly. Okay. So what you have to do is just come up here, to this hill up here. I'll show you where I am. Yeah, you can see where I am. Now what you want to do is just slide down here, jump, and go inside the egg. And going inside this sandbird egg will bring you to a secret mission where we are on the sandbird. So we have to collect eight red coins while standing on the sandbird. So this is what the sandbird looks like. The legendary sandbird is climbing around the tower. Watch your feet. So this mission can be a lot of fun considering the fact that, you know, I just dropped my microphone. I'm sorry about that, guys. I... I'm just having fails today. Alright, now let's go ahead and collect the rest of the red coins. Now, the last red coin is going to be on top of the tower. We just have to go over here and get this without falling. Like that. Just like that. Alright, we'll try it again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this mission is always fun. You haven't even seen the worst part. The worst part has yet to come because this bird does something that is so that is so devious. Like it's just so annoying what he does. Even though it's so easy to avoid dying, I, I don't want to die again. This mission really is not that bad if you know what you're doing. And oh, run up! I'll take it. I will take the one up. I will cherish it. I will love it. Oh my god, get off the tail. Alright, so what he's gonna do in a moment here is he's gonna turn over. And when he does that, you wanna make sure that you position yourself so that you don't die. So here I am, standing on his side, not dead. There you go. Just stand like that and don't move from this spot because if you do, you will die. And he's going to turn back over any second now, which is right now. And there we go. So he does that just to kind of screw you over. So now we're just going to wait here until we get to the top of the tower. The last red coin is on the very top of the tower, so we're going to go ahead and collect that. As soon as we're close enough. Which we're not. Come on, bird. Hurry up. I have things to do. All right, and there we go. I seriously thought I was gonna jump off. If I jumped off, I think I would've been so mad at myself. All right, let's go ahead and get the shine sprite and leave. Shine. Anyways guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here. So next time, let's play Super Mario Sunshine. We will continue on with Gelato Beach and I'll also go over what that is over there. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.